Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the azide ion N3 minus. So here we go. Uh, we have N3 minus, which gives us three nitrogens each with five valence electrons, plus one more for the negative one charge, which gives us a total of uh, 16 valence electrons. Okay, so obviously with three nitrogens you're just going to have three nitrogens in a row okay one of them being a central atom so let's we can go ahead and single bond these nitrogens and then fill out the uh, peripheral nitrogens octets so now there's 16 electrons here there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen but the central nitrogen does not have eight yet so the octet is not filled so what we're going to do is move this non-bonding pair to make a double bond and this non-bonding pair to make a double bond. So now there's 16 electrons and every nitrogen in this structure has eight, which means their full octet is complete. And we also have to add in the uh, brackets with the minus one charge because this is an ion. So let's go ahead and verify this is right by checking the formal charges. The uh, formal charge on the uh, nitrogen in the center and sub C, so this one right here, it's going to be uh, five valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a plus one charge. Okay, now we can check the uh, formal charges on the uh, nitrogen peripheral, so the outside ones, N sub P. It's going to be uh, five valence brought in minus two bonds on each one minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons on each one which gives us a minus one charge and remember, multiply that times two because there's two of those peripheral nitrogens. So if we add all this up, that should give us an overall formal charge of minus one, which is what we want because this this ion is a minus one charge ion, okay? So that's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna talk about the shape real quick. Um, there's three atoms in a row. Three atoms means there's going to be a, a linear shape and when you have a linear shape that means that the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to 180 degrees okay uh, looking at the central nitrogen here that th there's one two bonding sites which means SP hybrid if you want to look at the other sites there would be one two three one two three bonding sites which means SP2 for um, this nitrogen and this nitrogen, okay? But typically you talk about the central atom in these uh, Lewis dot structures, and because all three of these are nitrogens, these two will cancel each other out in terms of net dipole moment, meaning that this is going to be a non-polar ion, all right? That should be pretty much it for this. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.